stick a move in the ring. You can hit me with the words you fling now. UFC light heavyweight champion Jan Blahovic. Thank you for coming on the show, Jan. How's life treating you as the champion? Uh, thank you. Pleasure for me. <laughs> life is great right now. <laughs> Beautiful. Everything what's happened around me, it's amazing. And I, I you know, enjoy it. No doubt, you know, I saw the video of you returning back home, the fans, the media, they they crowded you, they congrat congratulated you in the at the airport. You went to go meet the the prime minister, but I bet you the best moment was when you got back home. Yeah, uh, hug, hug with mom, uh, drink a uh, beer with father. Yeah, <laughs> I always like to come back after the fight, you know, to my hometown, uh, see family, friends. Uh, it's it's you know always nice, uh, you know. Uh, to talk with them about the fight, about the past, you know, <laughs> it's, it's really nice. Now, what kind of the beer? The fight. What kind of beer? I drink only local, you know, beers. Not big, uh, uh, not big company, small company uh, from mm -hmm. uh, local area always, you know, because they are the best. Did you drink uh, a few extra since you're the champ now? Yeah, <laughs> but uh, I need to finish, you know, I have to come back to, to Warsaw and start training again. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I, I rest enough, uh, party enough, and now it's time, it's time to back to work, you know. <laughs> All right. Now, you know, when you started training martial arts, you were very young. What were some of the, the Asian influences in your life? I, I, when I started training, I was, you know, nine, nine years old. Uh, I started uh, ju from judo. That was my first, uh, yeah, first, first training. I go to, to the ju ju judo class. Uh, and, you know, and I always train something, you know, after judo was, you know, we watch movie with uh, uh, Bruce Lee and Van Damme. So everybody try to be like them, you know, Kung Fu, Karate style. Uh, uh, even if I don't train martial arts, I train, you know, soccer, uh, basketball, always sport was in my life. And after after this, I, I, I go to a boxing club uh, and also uh, I mix boxing with jujitsu class. And then I just change uh, boxing from my tie. And that's it, you know. <laughs> and, then, and I start connect uh, this this uh, two uh, sports, yeah, martial arts sports. And also, we've got a couple of good wrestling in our gym, so they show me wrestling. But now, you know, now we train everything. Yeah, but that was a long time ago. And when I remember when I started, you know, we train in basement, no mat, uh, nothing. You know, we just you know, a uh, couple friends and you know some you know videos uh, and we watch what the people do and we try to do this <laughs> in basement when you were when you were younger was it bruce lee was it steven seagal jean claude van damme who was it uh, bruce lee and van damme okay. i never like a seagal, you know <laughs> why? I don't why? Like his style. why why i don't know you know uh, i just don't, don't don't enjoy his movies you know he always have to beat everybody you know Watch his movie. He nobody hit him in the face. You know that that was you know weird, and I don't like it. You know when Van Damme or Bruce Lee, they, you know that was they always have uh, some you know uh, they have to fight in in the movies. You know they they take shots, they they hit. You know a seagull, he always won everything. You know <laughs> I don't believe in him even in movies. <laughs> so yeah, Van Damme. You remember when he came and uh, he he was telling everybody that he showed how showed Anderson Silva. How to do the finishing yeah. moves in the UFC? Yeah, yeah. What, what were you thinking back then? Yeah, I remember that he 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 tried to show him a couple moves. You know, he's big star, yeah. So uh, I think they 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 use him, you know, because he was you know a famous people, you know, fa really famous uh, actor. Uh, and I think that was just you know uh, like something like show, you know. Okay, Steven Seagal is with me. It's okay. It's good. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> You know, you, you accomplished the goal of becoming the UFC champion with the knockout of uh, Dominic Reyes. What is the next goal? What is the next step for you? Uh, my next step will be, you know, in December, I'm, I will be a father. So this is my next step. <laughs> uh, fight is easy. That's going to be something hard for me, something new. Uh, but uh, I would like to back to Octagon in March, you know. That's going to be the perfect uh, time for me to back to Octagon. And I don't know, you know, we've got uh, Thiago or uh, Glover. They're gonna fight, and I think the the who gonna want to fight? Maybe they this gonna be my next uh, opponent, or we all, I, all, all the time talk about the uh, John Jones, you know. But I don't believe that he he back to 205, and we've got Adesanya. He says something that he would like to try in a 205. So uh, a lot of you know good fighters, a lot of uh, nice uh, uh, goals, nice you know fights to do. We will see what UFC. 
uh, give it to me. I'm gonna be ready for everybody. You know, your son, when is he due? Uh, uh, in December. 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 December 12th, yes. Okay, so two December more months. 12th. Yeah, Are you like ready? This. We'll... Are you ready to change no. diapers? <laughs> <laughs> I have to be ready. Uh, you know, I don't. I just, you know, I'm happy. I cannot wait. Uh, but mm-hmm. also, I'm a little bit scared, you know, because I don't yeah. know uh, what to expect, you know. But uh, I'm, I'm really happy. I cannot, you know, uh, when I see him and you know, uh, hug him. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be amazing. I think amazing. A new uh, adventure, new, uh, new way in my life, you know. And I, in Poland, we say that uh, when you become a father, you hit twice harder, you know. So <laughs> it's also uh, really good because a new motivation for me to to make a better fight, you know. Yeah. Well, one thing that I thought about that was incredible is that your wife was there, your son is in her stomach, you won the yeah. title. When he grows up, you can tell him the story. You know, he was there at that moment, the biggest point, you know, moment of your career, basically. Yeah, and he was part of this, so uh, he was in my head, some, you know, somewhere in the, in, in the back of my head. So, uh, yeah, he gave me, you know, big motivation, you know. So, yeah, I would tell him everything, you know, show him the fight, you know. This is, this is your mother, she's over there, he was in the, <laughs> inside her. Yeah, that's going to be uh, really nice when he grew up and I would tell, tell him everything. Now, with the title defenses, how many do you feel like you need to have to reach that legendary status <laughs> i don't know you know i'm i am 37 years old i think that i can fight i don't know four maybe five years more i don't know uh, and i would like to have belt to the end of my career so i don't know uh, so we, we four years two fights in the year eight 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 title defense you know <laughs> <laughs> we will see <laughs> definitely definitely hey you never know what's going to happen. This is the world of yeah. MMA. Anything can happen in this world. Yeah, uh, and right now, you see what's happening in the world. Nobody knows what, what, what's going to be mm-hmm. tomorrow, yeah? So we have to be ready for everything. Now, after 253, Adesanya and Jones, they're going back and forth every day, talking trash to each other. Jones, during that back and forth, he he revealed that he hid under the cage, you know, when... uh. When the Nevada State Athletic Commission came to test him, to drug test him, and he said it was because he was smoking marijuana and he didn't want to get caught. Do you believe that story? Who believes Jones what he say? Nobody. Come on. It's <laughs> No, he 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 lie all the time, you know. I think he he even he did don't know when he say true or when he lying, you know. He's you know something said, so uh, no, I don't believe him at all. Now it seems like these two, they, they really hate each other and they want to fight each other. I think, why not let them fight each other for the number one contender status? Do you feel like maybe that could be possible? Yeah, why not? You know, everything is possible. Uh, I can beat both of them, you know? Uh, no problem for me. I'm going to be ready for Jones, for Adesanya, Thiago, Glover. I'll beat all of them. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, this is also uh, really good, you know? They, they're going to fight together and the next one will be for me. No problem. I'm happy, you know. I'm happy because, you know, I have really good opponent to choose. And uh, this is, uh, this is uh, you know, amazing. Yeah? And great, uh, really great options right now uh, for the next fight. Yeah, you're like a kid in a candy store. Yeah, exactly. I can choose what I want to choose, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we'll see what, you know, what boss say. Okay, your next opponent will be uh, this or this. And I will accept because I, I, I never, you know, uh, if I have, if I can choose opponents, I will right now, but if they say, okay, your next opponent will be Jones, Thiago, Adesanya, I will accept it. With Adesanya and Jones, if they do fight, who do you see as the favorite? Uh, I think Jones is bigger, you know, Adesanya is, you know, he, he is not 205, you know. Uh, he going to feel the 205 power, guys, when he moves to 205. So, mm-hmm. sorry uh, about the, the phone. <laughs> I was uh, turning off. So I I think that uh, Jones beat him, you know, but never know. It's fight. So, but I will put my money on Jones in this fight. How do you see Jones beating Adesanya? Uh, I think uh, because John Jones, you know, he, he everybody knows right now what he do. You know, we everybody catch his level right now. Uh, so m- maybe not everybody, but we uh, like me or the Dominic uh, catch his level. So I think that he will be beat Adesanya by decision. All right. Now, Adesanya also, he's he tweeted out that uh, he was thinking about moving up and, and taking the title. It almost seems like people 
still underestimate you even though you have all these knockouts, all these incredible finishes, and you hold the title. Why do they keep doubting you? I don't know. People, they have to, you know, start to believe in the legendary Polish power. But if they don't, I don't care. I will prove one more time that the, the, they have to. <laughs> this is, you know, something real. Uh, and, I, I, you know, I don't care. You know, I my family believe in me. My friends believe in me. A uh, lot of fans believe in me, you know. They... They, they sent me a lot of messages on my, my Instagram and, and Facebook. And most important thing, I believe in myself, you know, and I can beat all of them. I don't care what people say. <laughs> you get a lot of messages from around the world. Has has there been any surprises, like some place in the world that you never knew about? And there was a message from a fan from that location? Uh, right now, I've got really, you know, I, I heard that I've got a lot of fan club in South Korea, you know, and that was oh, something. Yeah. <laughs> you do. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow I have interview with the with the with with Korean uh, yeah Korean uh, MMA side so uh, and they told me when I do uh, before fight uh, interview with him he said that I've got you know a lot of fans over there I, I didn't expect that that I'm gonna have fans you know in the South South Korea but it's nice yeah yeah <laughs> definitely amazing. a big a big following not just in South Korea but in Asia in general the the, the people in Asia they don't... right now people in Asia know uh, you know where where uh, where I from who am I. Yeah, and this is something what I did, didn't expect. But they they are true, uh, true, for really good and true fans, you know, from from Asia. So this is really nice for me. Now, as a champion, when you look at the light heavyweight division, how would you rank the top five contenders? Who's one? Who's two? Who's three? You know, we've got Thiago and Glover. They are first two guys. You know, uh, we've got you know uh, Rakic. Uh, there is the new guy in UFC from Czech Republic, uh, Prohaska. Mm-hmm. So you know uh, the, 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 the our division is uh, really tough right now, and also we still got the uh, Dominic Reyes, you know, mm-hmm. uh, top fighter, you know. Uh, so we've got in our division a lot of good guys, young guys. You know, you have to be on the shape all the time because you no, know, <laughs> you want be you. So yeah, it's the division is really really nice, you know, because we got a lot of good and good guys, you know. So it's mm-hmm. it's really interesting what's gonna happen. Uh, in fight and how it goes. Uh, a guy that's coming back is uh, Anti Rumble Johnson, and uh, the UFC is probably going to push him to fight somebody yeah. in the top five or the top ten at least. Who would be a great return fight for him? Yeah, that's going to be something uh, you know nice to watch when he back to octagon. Nobody knows how how he gonna you know what he- shape he got right now after this break. Uh, but I think uh, yeah they. I would like to see him against uh, the, the the guy from Czech Republic, Republic this uh, Prohaska. Uh, I think they they got good, uh, you know, similar style, and it will be nice to watch, you know. Yeah, and yeah, and, and he deserves to when he come back to to, to octagon uh, to to UFC, he deserves for you know uh, top fighters on the on the start. So I think that, that the Prohaska, Prohaska will be the best uh, for him, and also that's gonna be good fight to watch for the fans. Rakic, he's talking about he wants the title shot next. How far do you think he's from getting a, a shot at you? I, he's, you know, he's tough, really good fighter, but mm-hmm. I think uh, that he need one more fight before, you know, before title. And we, if he won, uh, you know, his next fight, then he will be really, then he be next, uh, you know, contender for the fight for the title. But right now, one more fight for him. Another guy, you know, that's uh really hot right now from Europe is. Kamzat Chimaev, you know what? Do, what do you think about him and what he's done so far? Yeah, it's, you know, he's a really good fighter. It's mm. nice to watch his fight. You know, he just do his job. Go to he don't you know just go knock out the the the, 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 the opponent and come back to home. Yeah, it's it's, it's it's really good to watch him to watch his style. That's what he do in inside the octagon. Do you think his style is kind of like the kryptonite? For like someone like Adesanya, who's mainly based in striking, I don't know. You know, we have to wait for when maybe they they make this fight in the future. So then we're gonna see. <laughs> now we can talk on you know uh, this one's gonna be better, this gonna be better. But when they go to inside the octagon, then we can you know gonna see what's gonna happen. But he got everything you know to to be the champion in future. All right. Well, one last thing is, uh, of course, you mentioned earlier Santos and Texera. They're going to face off most likely for the number one contender position. Could you break down that fight and, and tell me who who you probably favor Santos in that fight? Why do you favor him so much? Uh, you know, 
I would like to take rematch against him, you know. Uh, and also, you know, I just like him. We are friends, so I'm gonna keep my fingers for him. But if we're gonna have a rematch in the future, you know, uh, this time I'm gonna be the winner. I will beat him. I will not him. I will submit him. I don't care. Uh, but yeah, first of all, he need to won against uh, Glover, and you know, Glover is he right now. He's you know. His shape is uh, right now really good, better than uh, two or three years ago, you know. Uh, and we will see, you know, if if Glover takes to the ground, he can keep, you know. But if Thiago will, uh, you know, keep fighting stand up, then the uh, so fight is gonna be for for Thiago. But I think that Thiago uh, won this fight by by KO or TKO. But he need to be just, uh, you know, be careful because if Glover takes him down, he's really good on the ground and. That's uh, how, how the Glover should do uh, and win on the ground. Yeah. Thank you so much for everything. And, uh, um, you know, enjoy your time off. Enjoy the birth of your son. Uh, congratulations. And uh, hopefully you, like you said, we'll see you back real quick in March for that title defense. Yeah. Thank you. Pleasure for me. And thanks for everything for interview and all best for you guys. <laughs> And sorry about my Wi-Fi. Pick a move in the rain. You can hit me with the words you feel.